um, America. Today uh, is the broadcasting program for the Buddha Sasana program from the Cambodian Buddhist Monk Society in USA is that broadcasting uh, every week um, that is on Saturday. Today is Saturday, 20, uh, February 20, 2021, that we are on our show program, Buddha Sasana program, that our topic is an introduction to Buddhism um, in India. So today is um, today. Uh, I'm not supposed to be a moderator that um, to um, deliver the questions to our di distinguished um, speakers. But um, Venerable Muniputta Sakthiwi was um, busy. Uh, with his um, duty at uh, ceremony hall. So he cannot join today's and I do apologize for uh, being late by broadcasting. But now the time um, going up, then we will uh, talk about uh, Buddhism in India that we have our distinguished uh, speaker, uh, Venerable Dr. Chandari. Uh, from New Delhi, uh, New Delhi, uh, India. Uh, I would like to pay deep respect to you, the most venerable doctor. Um, venerable uh, Dr. Chandari was born in Poli province in Cambodia Gram, um, that present day we call uh, Southern Vietnam. And he moved to Cambodia, in Thakai province, and ordained as novice and uh, become a bhikkhu since uh, 1997. And he um, got uh, his uh, MA, a master degrees, and MPhil, a master of philosophy, and PhD in the Buddhist study, University of India. And now, presently, he resided in uh, India, uh, New Delhi. So thank you very much, uh, most venerable that uh, join us today for um, our programs of um, Buddha Sasana program that will um, talk about Buddhism in India. Actually, Buddhism is already established in India, we all know, it, but uh, we will uh, discuss uh, some critical uh, point, uh, crit uh, critical views that relating to uh, Buddhism in India. That uh, now, uh, first of all, I would like to invite you to say something uh, about India today. That uh, what is the climate in India and um, uh, what, uh, how, how India <laughs> affected by um, present coronavirus that uh, spread over the world. So. Uh, what is situation over there? So and your um your your <laughs> your, your situation also, please, Pante. At first, I would like to uh, pay my veneration to the Buddha, his uh, noble teachings, the Dharma, and the order of the community, the Sangha, and my respect to uh, most ven venerable president of uh, Cambodian uh, Buddhist Sangha in USA, and my respect to venerable Dharma friend, uh, moderator, venerable uh, Dharma Siri, Sam Chanti, and a very good morning to all listeners. It is a great pleasure to uh, participate uh, in this uh, program on the uh, introduction uh, to Buddhism in India. And uh, thank you so much for a very good question about the present situation in India. Yeah. Uh, for the uh, current uh, COVID-19 in uh, India, it uh, seems to uh, stable. It means uh, under control in India. 
that's good. Yeah, not much about the infection rate, like the government brought it under control. Yeah. Uh, especially in my uh, flesh, before the infection around 6,000 or 7,000 per day, but now uh, around 150 or 160, uh, the infection. And for me also, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's great, yeah. So, yeah. so how, how, how many monks living together with you right now in uh, your temple? Pardon me? Uh, how, how many monks living with you right now in the, in the Buddhist temple in India? Oh, in the Cambodian temple. Uh, yeah. Now, uh, right now we have uh, five monks, yeah, resident monks uh, in Cambodian temple. We're staying together since oh. the uh, pandemic uh, outbreak. But so they are still how here. How about school situation? To, uh, all, uh, all, uh, most of the Cambodian men who resided in India because of their education. So now the in the pandemic time. So um, so what what is the uh, situations over there about your education? They close the schools and or you can go to the school or what 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 you do about your education? We, we don't have class available. Yeah, nowadays they all close for school institution, not often, but most, most monks, uh, they taking the class uh, online. Uh, okay, I see. Yeah, thank you very much for the uh, first uh, start of our program regarding the present situation in India that um, it's not, not only India, but also um, over the world that uh, people are scared and uh, yeah, fear from the uh, coronavirus or the COVID-19. So now, uh, venerable, doc venerable uh, doctor, so now we uh, come to our topic that today we are going to discuss about Buddhism in India. So we all know, but uh, Buddhist, is Buddhist uh, uh, originated from India, but uh, now we seem understand that not many people in India are Buddhist. So uh, India is like uh, Hindus or uh, Muslim countries. So can 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 you tell us so uh, uh, the population in uh, population of Buddhist Buddhist people in India. So can you imagine or can you uh, tell us about the, the percent, how many percent or how, how many population are Buddhists in India? Yes, uh, as Venerable uh, Dharma Sri uh, mentioned, India, the original land of Buddhism. But uh, for today, for present time, it's, uh, it's no more uh, Buddhism. Buddhism just only a, a minority religion uh, in India among the population, uh, Indian population, 1,450. Uh, Buddhist population, according to the, the, the 2011 census by the Indian government, uh, they are uh, 8.5 million Buddhist population in India, I mean, just a small amount. <laughs> yeah, it is very small amount if yeah. compared to the Indian population. So how how, how is the, how much the Indian population right now? Uh, One billion and uh, 450 venerable is Indian population. And mostly yeah. they follow Hinduism and uh, Islam and uh, Sikhism, but for uh, Indian uh, Buddhist population, it's very less. Yeah, just only 8 point uh, million, so it is- uh, Yeah, 8 point four million. million. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so, but it is it is also good that we um, take a Buddhist perspective uh, toward uh, to India, because uh, India, we have uh, 
uh, many things that um, Buddhism uh, left uh, behind. So um, started to the Buddha's, uh, Buddha's, Buddha's times that uh, we want to know when Buddhism start in India and, and, and why, why Buddhism started in India. Why, why the Buddha choose uh, India to um, establish his uh, Bud Buddha Sasana. And uh, at that time, um, India was what, what India was called. It is called India or called some other name. So when Buddhism started, Bhante? Around uh, 6, uh, 7, century BC, yeah, Buddhism appear in India. Yeah, sixth century BC, Buddhism appear in India, as we all know, is yeah. by the uh, his historical founder, the Siddhartha Gautama, the Buddha, yeah, in India, sixth century. And uh, why Buddhist, uh, why India? Yeah. According to Buddhist tradition, uh, India, in the, the, the Buddha time, uh, we call Champu uh, Tipa. Yeah. Yeah, Champu Tipa is Pali word or Sanskrit Champu Tipa. It is uh, according to Buddhist studies and uh, India is the middle land. Yeah, that's why for all the Buddha in, in, in this uh, earth, uh, only got enlightenment only in India. Yeah, that's why it's not outside India, only in India, especially under the Bodhi tree in uh, Bodh Gaya. It's the place for all the Buddha uh, to take uh, uh, enlightenment. And uh, in the Buddha time, as I just mentioned, it's uh, called uh, India called uh, Jambu Thvipa. Yeah. Yeah, in, in India, Fonte. So um, can, can you introduce a little bit uh, uh, background about uh, uh, before Siddhartha Gautama become a, a Buddha? So uh, what, what his, uh, his uh, um, biography is just a just little bit that uh, to, uh, uh, to renounce to the people that uh, who doesn't know uh, who did not know about uh, the background of the Buddha? So, was the Buddha were born, and then and and India at that times? Can can you mention how how large is India and how 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 many state or realms of uh, 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 of state in Buddha's time? Uh, thank you so much, Fanley. <coughs> the Buddha was born in. Uh, the uh, uh, Sakya Kingdom is a, a small foothill of the Himalayan region. In nowadays, it's Nepal. It's not so far from Indian border, around 27 kilometers. And the Buddha was born in the Sakya Kingdom. <coughs> uh, that uh, his father named uh, Siddhartha Gautam, uh, sorry, uh, Siddhartha and uh, his mother, Mahamaya Devi. Yeah, he was born in the Sakya Kingdom yeah. and uh, grew up there in the luxury life. And he got married to his uh, cousin, uh, Yasao Tara, and had a son named Rahula uh, after the he went outside of uh, his uh, palace. He uh, saw the, the four sides of lies. He's uh, first the uh, old man. And he thought to himself, he also will get old like that man. And second time, he saw the sixth man. And he also thought to himself one day, he himself also. Uh, will uh, become uh, sick like that man. And the third time he saw a corpse or the dead body, he also yeah. thought to himself, he also one day 
or even his uh, relatives, his beloved wife, beloved son and father also died the same uh, that case. And finally, he saw a recluse, that means a mendicant uh, with the peaceful countenance. And he went back to his palace and made a decision. He had to live this early life to become the mendicant like that man. Uh, that's why on the full moon day, uh, one night he left his palace to become a mendicant uh, traveling around the uh, ancient India of Makata in uh, uh, Eastern India. He become a mendicant and <clears throat> wondering uh, to study uh, with an, the, the Kal, uh, Kalama and Utaka Ramaphota, but he couldn't find the, the truth. What he sought for, finally he left both of them and to practice uh, austerity that in uh, Pali we call uh, uh, Tukra Kiriya mm -hmm. at uh, the, the foothill of a mountain not so far from uh, Neranjara. Uh, for at least uh, six years, he practiced uh, austerity, but uh, couldn't find the enlightenment. That means very extreme, e extreme. But he, he, he couldn't find enlightenment. Finally, he gave up that extreme part and uh, follow the middle part on the, 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 the full moon day of Vesaka under the poetry tree. He found the enlightenment and become a Buddha. Yeah, and under the poetry tree in in Putkaya. That, so I just give you a short one there. <laughs> Thank you very much, Bante, about the uh, brief introductions about the Buddha's um, background from the very beginning. Uh, Bante, this is very critical um, question and controversies among the death of the Buddha's birthday. So, uh, that many scholar. Uh, especially the Western and Northern scholar mentions about the di different dates and times of the Buddha's birthday. So um, can, can you um, give us the uh, uh, exact, exact time of the Buddha's, uh, Buddha's birth, birthday? Uh, till, till nowadays, we, we, we have no exact date of the Buddha yeah, as you just uh, briefer, venerable, we yeah. don't have even in the Western country because uh, the, 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 the life of the Buddha is still a, a big controversy, especially in the Western uh, cycle. It's still a controversy. We don't have uh, exact date of the Buddha. Yes, just like in Chinese uh, chronology, or uh, in uh, Sri Lanka Chronicle, the Mahawangsa, the Great Chronicle also is mentioned different. That's why we, we don't have the exact date of the Buddha. It's just um, a little uh, different. <laughs> That's why yeah. it's, it's not exact date. Yeah, thank you very much, Bande. Um, I, I, I was also wondering that uh, about the many um, scholar that introduce about the Buddha's time differently according to the uh, religious uh, modernization, especially in the uh, Mahayana and Tantrayana Buddhism that they introduce the Buddha's first times and the Buddha's uh, passing Mahaparinibbana is in different, different way. But according to our uh, Theravada Buddhism, we still believe that the Buddha, uh, as, the, as the Prince uh, Siddhartha, was born in 623rd BC. So it means in 7th um, century BC, that is evident in many uh, Buddhist, uh, Theravada Buddhist, Buddhist uh, scripture, especially in the 2,500 years of Buddhism that published by Indian governments that um, published in 1956 that introduced the exact dates of uh, 623rd uh, year uh, before Christ. And also the evidence of the archaeological site that we discover in Nepal today in uh, uh, Lumpini, 
that was um, uh, discovered and we do a fossil, we understand uh, the, uh, the assumes that the Buddha was born at uh, 623 uh, uh, years before, uh, before Christ. So it is just only the short uh, and exact introduction because we, when, when we read many um, scripture and many books about the Buddha's life, especially uh, in Mahayana tradition, Mahayana tradition, they, uh, there are lots of uh, learner and, um, and scholar uh, introduced into Buddhism, Mahayana Buddhist scholar, and they wrote uh, many things about the Buddhism and philosophy. And also um, in India at that time, as, uh, uh, as we, uh, we, we know about our, our research, so at the Buddha's time, there are 16, uh, 16 we, we can say 16 realm or 16 states of, um, uh, in India at that time. And uh, maybe at, at that time, the Sakshan, as uh, Bande mentioned, is just only a small kingdom or in the, <clears throat> in the, uh, the book described by Indian uh, government, they say that just a republic, a small republic at that time. Yeah. So, uh, uh, eight of eight of eight are uh, eight of uh, eight of uh, sixteen are uh, uh, realms and eight are republics. And the more powerful uh, at that time was Magadha and Kausala uh, of uh, the king Prasenajit or Prasenati Koshala and 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 Timpishara and Ajata Sutru. So. Um, uh, at that time, one day after Buddha uh, enlightened, uh, you you were you uh, you was uh, talking uh, about his searching truth that he uh, was seeing the four signs of uh, old man and uh, sickness man and dead man and also the recluse, the ramana or the the monks that um, live the worldly things and become a very peaceful man and uh, the only way only only uh, only sign that he hoped that he will find the truth he will find the 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 cessations of the suffering so he um he he left his palace and to becomes an ascetic and he meet uh, alara kalama uh, as his teachers and also Udhagarama Putra as his teacher also, but still he cannot find the truth and and he decided to practice by himself asterism or Dugrakiriya asterism to um, to uh, make his body um, um, difficult, but even though he cannot find. So he decided to um, practice the middle way, the Machima Padipada, it is the middle way. So one day after his enlightenment, as I know that at that time, there are many um, religious thinker, many religious leader, and uh, it is not easy to um, introduce Buddhism at that time. So uh, can, can you tell us how, how the Buddha introduced his uh, first religion, his religions to uh, Indian at that time uh, amongst many um, religions and uh, critical thinkers? Yes, as uh, Venerable just mentioned in detail after the Buddha enlightenment, as, as you mentioned, it's true, it's for the Buddha, it's very like the heart task for him to propagate his uh, newly found uh, teachings. Yeah. After his enlightenment, he spent uh, several weeks around the forty tree. Mm -hmm. And <coughs> later on, in, in fact, the Buddha, he, he, he didn't want to uh, uh, share his uh, newly teachings at, at yeah. the kind of uh, reluctance because he sought to himself whatever he just um, enlightened is not easy for the normal person yeah. Yeah, to, to, to catch up his uh, teachings. Uh, according to the tradition, at that time, uh, Brahma, there's a Brahma, uh, Sahampati Brahma, like he, he knew the thought of the Buddha, 
Then he appear along with many many brahma. Yeah, came to the Buddha to pay obeisance, to pay respect to the Buddha, and he implore the Buddha, please uh, enlighten one, the worldly honor one, share your newly teaching yeah, uh, to, to the world, because in the world there is also uh, some human being, they could um, get enlightenment uh, from your teachings. And by that thing, the Buddha accepted the Brahma invitation to, to teaching to the world. And at first he sought to his uh, former uh, two teachers, yeah, Uttaka Ramapotta and uh, Kalama. But he knew that both of them already passed away and born in the, 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 the uh, homeless realm or homeless world. Yeah. And then he sought to his uh, Thai uh, companion, uh, Panjavakya uh, Tapasa, those who attended uh, him when he practiced uh, austerity. Then from the uh, uh, Bodhgaya, he traveled uh, to uh, Saranath because the Buddha, he knew uh, that uh, five companion, uh, Panjavakya uh, Tapasa, resided there when five of them left him in uh, uh, <coughs> Uruvela uh, Patesa. So the Buddha, uh, from there, he walked by foot yeah, around uh, over 254 kilometers. Yeah, took the Buddha uh, time 11 days to the Saranath. Mm -hmm. So the Buddha walked from uh, Buddhaya to Saranath uh, for 11 days. And finally, the Buddha met his uh, five former companion. At first, uh, five of them also is, is, is still uh, hesitant, yeah. hesitant uh, to welcome his uh, their former uh, teacher because they thought maybe uh, the Gautama, uh, Siddhartha Gautama, uh, couldn't find the enlightenment. Yes. Yeah, they, they still reluctant. But finally, they saw his uh, manner or his uh, countenance. They couldn't uh, accept him. So they welcome him. Uh, one person uh, help him to uh, take the rope or take the uh, arm. Uh, bows and and but first uh, uh, five of them addressed to the Buddha just only the, the, the normal name and the Buddha in order to kick the dumb the ma to them they just tell them uh, have to listen carefully now I am no more a normal person I am the enlightened one the exalted one so five of them listen to the Buddha uh, uh, teaching um, that means uh, the Buddha then delivered the, the very famous uh, Dharma to them, the Thamajaka Pavatana Sutta in Saranath. And mm -hmm. by that time on, uh, the Buddha uh, take, um, recite uh, 12, uh, the, the first rainy retreat in uh, Saranath. Yeah, it's for one one year. The Buddha stay there when you're born. Thank you very much, Bante. Um, it is very um interesting um introductions about uh, how the Buddha introduced his first teaching to the uh, his friend or the five ascetic, or we call Pan uh, Panjivakya. Um, it is very uh, very interesting and very critical um uh, question also related to the how Buddha introduced his first sermon or first teaching to those five, because uh, as, as you mentioned that um, five ascetic was his friends and close friends. And uh, he or then as the uh, as the uh, Tapasa or Hermit also because of uh, Satharam, uh, because of the Satata 
or there's a Tarta Gautama, but because of um, unconfident and unconfident or uh, uh, did, uh, uh, did not have more belief with the uh, Siddhartha and he, uh, they left uh, our Siddhartha and to practice by, by themselves. And because uh, they practice in Upanishad, at, at, at that time Upanishad tradition amongst the Brahmanism. So um, the Buddha mentioned clearly about his enlightenment and ask those five ascetics not to call him by the normal name. So uh, must call him as the Buddha because he enlightened. And uh, as you mentioned, he, uh, it's not, not easy to, to convey that five ascetics. So he walked from distance, you know, from, from distance to the place and teach um, the, the first sermon called Dhammajaka Pavatana Sutra or the the discourses on the turning the wheels of Dhamma. So one day, uh, uh, this is very, very um, deep that, that as you mentioned before, the Buddha enlightened and discovered the very uh, deep understanding, very deep uh, philosophical teaching and absolute teaching in, in uh, that he never, he never known before. Uh, after uh, before he enlightenment. So now, uh, what are those men teaching in the Dhammajaka Pavatana Sutra that mentioned first to the five ascetics? So what is the main points and what is the main teaching uh, in Dhammajaka Pavatana Sutra? Yeah, thank you so much, Venerable. In the Dhammajaka Pavatana Sutra, at first, the Buddha uh, just tell his uh, five companions, yeah, the Panjavakya people, about the two extremists. Yeah. So the, what, what the, are those, the, those extremists? The, the, the two extremists, uh, like the attack Kalamathana Yoga and Kamasokal uh, uh, Yoga. So what, what, what is the Atagalimathana Yoga the, and so what they practice, why the Buddha um, said that it is the extreme one? The same, the Atagalimathana Yoga is like the, the, in the past for the Buddha himself, he's uh, practiced uh, very extremely, uh, very hard, like make his body weak or not take the food at all. That means it's the wrong way. That's why the Buddha uh, told them, don't follow that way. It's, it's that way, it's the newborn one. Yeah, it's, it's not the, the Arya part. It's the newborn one is extremely, that could not find the enlightenment about this Kama uh, Sokalikana uh, Yoga. That means like this kind of uh, sense of pleasure it's also is is not the, the the way for the ascetic to practice that way. If we live always like the the, the late luxury, also it couldn't find the enlightenment by the two way. The Buddha uh, advise the the five ascetic uh, must give up the those way. Yeah, in the Tamajaka Bhavatana Sutta. Can, can you give the example why why um, cell motivation or atakalimatana yoga and uh, gamma sukhaligana yoga uh, cell indulgence is the extreme and if the monks or ascetic or someone who are indulgence or, uh, or practice along these two extreme cannot reach the goal or cannot enlighten why why these two extreme reluctant or um, grasp or uh, or, or uh, make uh, those practitioners cannot realize the truth. Uh, that that two way, in fact, uh, like the uh, cell indulging, gamma uh, sokali yoga. It, it, that uh, cell indulging gamma sokali kano yoga. Why the Buddha he 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 at why not to follow that part? Yeah. Because that part couldn't find 
he is, is couldn't find the enlightenment, couldn't find the tranquility because he's overjoyed, joys in the, the, the sense of pleasure is mm -hmm. not a part of the ascetic. If, in, if we always live in the five sense, the five senses, like the 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 panya kama kun kuna that that couldn't find the the enlightenment. So uh, be, be, beside that the two ex, extremists, the Buddha advised the, his five companion to follow the, the middle path. Just you mentioned Conte about the Machima Padipata. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, I, I understand about what you have um, talked about, uh, talk about uh, two extremes that the Buddha mentioned. Uh, the Buddha uh, asked the fire ascetic to, uh, to dispel or to get away from uh, these two extremes because at that time, uh, the, the Buddha himself um, already practiced to uh, through these two extremes like um uh gamma sukali gana yoga in uh, selindajan he was uh, living in the palace for uh, almost 29 years and even though he want to uh, to search for the truth and to get rid of all the suffering but he cannot because the uh, uh this is five sense of pleasures like uh, something to uh, cover cover uh, uh, covers the human mind like the Buddha uh, mentioned in Majjhimanikaya mini sutras about how how the sense of five sense of pleasure cover the mind with a vicha or ignorance that we, uh, uh, that uh, live see the truth clearly yeah so uh, it is it is like like the water the clear water then we put some color into the water that we cannot see, see the, uh, the, the class clearly. So it is the, the examples and also cell modification or Atakalimatana Yoga. It is also uh, the extreme way that you mentioned um, to make the minds not, uh, not in one point tetanus because when, we, when, when the body suffer too much, so when the when when our body suffer too much, so we cannot have a one pointedness or one uh, the our mind is cannot concentrate on the end uh, on object. So when the mind it cannot concentrate on one object, so we cannot understand clearly what are they. So the Buddha uh, give an example like the the spoil water. So the water went when very hot, so it's spoiling. So it is uh, we we cannot find uh, the clear uh, bottoms of the the jars also because of uh, spoiling water. So this is two extreme that are very um uh, very hard to understand and also uh, the Buddha uh, asked five ascetic to uh, get away. So uh, when they both mentioned about uh, Buddha asked five ascetic um, to, um, to get out from these two extremes and um, ask them to going or to practice the middle the middle middle part. So, uh, what 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 are those middle part that um, the Buddha mentioned in order to get rid of all suffering? So, can you give us uh, briefly? Yeah, to to avoid the uh, two extremists of what the Buddha exhorted. Uh, uh, his uh, five companion to follow the noble eight pole path, the Fali Ariya Athangika Mako, that yeah. means uh, Samma Thirty. The first one, the uh, right understanding. Yes, yeah. Samma uh, Sangkapa, the right thought. Samma Thirty, Samma Sangkapa, and Samma Vaja. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right speaks, uh, Sama Kamanta, right action, and Sama Vayama, Vayamo, yeah. right effort, and uh, uh, Sama uh, Sati, uh, right mindfulness, 
and smart smart um, right concentration yeah the buddha exhorted um, all uh, people all human being in order to 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 find enlightenment uh, must follow that path is only the 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 merely uh, part uh, to 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 get enlightenment uh, without this part uh, human being uh, impossible uh, to get enlightenment yeah, without the, the, the noble eightfold paths whenever thank you um uh, the noble eightfold paths as you mentioned from uh, right view right action right speak until right concentration uh, it is among the four noble truths that the Buddha mentioned about the four noble truths. And uh, we all, the Buddhists, know already about the four noble truths, about the suffering and the uh, origination of sufferings and cessation of suffering and, and the path to uh, get rid of suffering. So, but it, it is very, very deep, um, the Buddha's teachings and the first teaching also, and among five ascetics, as we know, that only uh, only one, the Gondanyas, have um, uh, has understand uh, so uh, sorry has understood uh, his teaching and um, become his desire, first disciples and ordained as monks, and and the Buddha tried to uh, teach again and again the um, then the then the Dhammajaka Bodhana Sutta to. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, to make all uh, fire city understand clearly. And as you mentioned, the Buddha stayed there for one vasa or one uh, retreat session. It is about the uh, uh, reside. And after that, the Buddha was um, uh, sent his first missionary to, um, to proclaim or to propagate his uh, dispensation. So Bhante, um, uh, it is difficult. Uh, what, uh, what are uh, uh, sorry? Any challenges? Any challenges among the Buddha um, uh, propagation to uh, Indian people uh, at that time? Yeah, that is a big uh, challenges uh, for the Buddha and his uh, educated uh, disciple. Yeah, including the Buddha also sixty one, right? Okay. Yeah, after the Vasa, yeah, as you just mentioned, he sent his, uh, we can say, the educated, the Arahanta uh, disciple to a uh, different part uh, of India to, to, to propagate yeah, his teaching. Uh, the big challenge is uh, for the Buddha and his disciple, because at that time, um, before or uh, in the time of the Buddha, uh, Brahmanism, that nowadays we call Hinduism, are, are already prevalent um, there. Yeah, at that time, already Hinduism is very popular among the uh, Indian people. That's why, in 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 order to to show his new teaching, yeah, for part the Buddha is, uh, in my opinion, is not. Uh, Difficult for him because the Buddha he many skillful means yeah to 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 transfer his teaching to the people yeah but for the Buddha he, he could do that at first um, the Buddha is not go to the the, the normal the, the ordinary people but he he, he went to the uh, leader of that uh, state of that country. Uh, like the, after the, the rainy retreat, first rainy retreat, the Buddha from Saranath, he went back to uh, uh, Uruvela uh, uh, Patesa. Yeah. First, he, he, he met uh, the, the, the three ascetic, uh, the, the three uh, ascetic like um, Uruvela Kasapa and uh, Nati Kasapa and Kaya Kasapa. Yeah, with their disciple, the Buddha uh, persuaded uh, them, convinced them to accept his uh, new teaching, and they all beca uh, became his disciple. After that, they all together um, uh, travel to uh, set our journey to the, the 
the great kingdom, the Magatha uh, kingdom, to 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 meet the King Pumbisara. Yeah, yeah. For the Buddha, he meet King Pumbisara after he also deliver uh, Dharma uh, talk to the king and uh, his uh, uh, retinue uh, all to believe his uh, teaching. Uh, then it is the, the the beginning of uh, the dispensation or of the propagation of the Buddha uh, uh, teaching from the Makatha kingdom venerable. Um, you you come to the point one day that uh, I want to um to uh indicate about um about the controversy and challenges that the Buddha um have to uh, the Buddha introduce his uh Buddha Buddha Sasana or the Buddha, uh, Buddhist dispensation. Um, as, as we know that before Buddha become enlightenment, he promised to take first Dhamma to the King Pimpisara of Magadha. But after he enlightened, why, why he not go directly to, uh, to the King Pimpisara? Why he went to um, the, his friend, uh, five ascetics and the, and also the three brothers of Kashyapa and and other and then uh, finally he go to he went to Magadha kingdom to uh, to teach his dhamma to the king of uh, of Magadha in Pisara. So uh, you mentioned the point about this uh, this a long way from from Sarana to uh, to uh, Magadha kingdom. So uh, why why the Buddha uh went through this this uh this disciple why he um did not uh go direct to the the king yeah thank you everyone yeah it's very good point too yeah like the a broken promise right <laughs> but yeah, he, he, yeah but in fact it's not uh, like that it's for the buddha he he, he, he didn't uh, break the promise with the king Pumbisara. Yeah. In the, the, the early time, then the Buddha became the ascetic of the mendicant. Yeah, mm -hmm. he used uh, to meet the king Pumbisara at, at the, the, the Makata kingdom. And after they exchange the warm words with the, each other, and the King Pumbisara came to know him is the prince from uh, Sakya Kingdom. And they became, they also a very close friend together. Yeah. And King Pumbisara even want to, wanted to share his uh, kingdom half to the, the, the Siddhartha uh, Kodama. But uh, the Buddha at that time reputed to, to, to accept the the kind offer offering by the king, he own, his only aim is uh, to find the truth. Yeah, because he already gave up his uh, worldly life and to become a homeless uh, person. And uh, by his uh, re resolute decision, King Pumpisara uh, just uh, back him. Uh, venerable sir, after you got enlightenment, please come to uh, like uh, to give me the Dharma talk yeah, first, yeah, before everyone. But yeah. uh, <laughs> as you just raised up the question, why the Buddha not uh, after his enlightenment and he decided uh, to preach the Dharma to, to the world, why not directly uh, uh, went from Bodhgaya to uh, Makatha Kingdom to, to to take the king, the, the, the new yeah. Dharma, uh, the new Dharma, uh, why he uh, had to, to go to Saranath. Uh, by the, the Buddha, he knew that the, the king is not the time for the king yet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Even at that time, if the Buddha, he, 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 he went to, 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 met, uh, to meet the king, the king also cannot um, uh, properly understand his uh, teaching because his five companions, five ascetic, uh, five friends uh, would be easily to, to, to uh, enlighten uh, his teaching. That's why the Buddha 
he 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 didn't uh, uh, go to meet the king uh, at that time. Yeah, at first, he just uh, went to see his five companion and also to uh, um, uh, taught the Dharma to to the the three brothers. Mm. Because there is a, a connection also here. Uh, the three brothers also they 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 had um, the the great influence to to the Makata kingdom. Yeah, they also used to be the minister in the Makata kingdom, and their name also their reputation also well well known uh, among the Makata people. Even the king also respect them in the story, especially in Cambodian language. We yeah. we, we all must know the 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 the, the, the history. Mm -hmm. of them after the Buddha and his uh, new disciple uh, to, together they, they, they went they set our journey to see the King from Pisara and his uh, retinues those people also even the king still reluctant to accept who is the chief who is <laughs> who is the the, the, the the teacher yeah but <laughs> the, the Buddha just uh, give the Uruvela Kaspa, yeah, to show uh, who is the real teacher. That means who is the real, real man here. And finally, uh, King Pumpisara, he came to know all oh, is the Buddha, is the real boss, <laughs> the real teacher. That's why it's easily for him to pay attention, to pay attention to the Buddha teaching. And finally, he also uh, entered the, the first uh, um, realm or the Sautapanna, becomes became Sautapanna along with uh, his um, uh, retinues. Mm -hmm. yeah, from, uh, it's, it's, that is the case for the Buddha. He uh, didn't, uh, to, didn't come to, to see the king first after enlightenment. So I just give you the, the short uh, explanation, Bante. Yeah, thank you very much, Bante. This is very uh, uh, main point that uh, uh, all people, uh, especially our uh, Buddhist people, uh, must know because uh, why the Buddha not direct to the king and uh, the Buddha went uh, to Saranat because of five ascetic. So as, as you mentioned, it's, everything is clearly that the Buddha will uh, the Buddha first avoid the uh, uh, behind speaking because if he went direct to the king, so his reputation also will not uh, will not well known. Maybe five ascetic will will say something bad about him. Oh, I don't believe this man because I live for him uh, with him for um, many time all the ways, and also I know him from the birds. That the, he, he is not uh, he is not useful man. He is the very coward man, and he's not the uh, not the effort man. So the five aspect, the Panchavaki can say something bad about about the Buddha if the Buddha direct to the uh, to to take the the first dhamma to others uh, rather than than those. So five aspect is very. Uh, and he also uh, uh, the will understand clearly. If we say uh, in deep about the Theravada uh, Buddhist canon, so the the Anya Gondanya is the first man who will uh, enlighten the truth after the Buddha. So we we believe that karma that he has accumulated, but because uh, but we can say uh, to release the the bad uh, reputations of the Buddha. So the Buddha. Uh, went to Saranat and and uh, take the first sermon. And also, as you mentioned, it's the most uh, important thing that uh, the Buddha went to Gyasi Pradesh to um, to teach the Atita Parayaya Sutra to those uh, thousand uh, ascetics or the Kashyapa, that the uh, three brothers that was the main forced to uh, establish or to uh, propagate the Buddha's teaching because all the Magadan, the Magadan people, all uh, Magadha kingdom respect those three brothers and, and they respect as the holy man, as the an Arahan, as the, the supreme teacher, supreme uh, ministers of the country. So if the Buddha uh, avoid them and go direct to the king, so three brothers so maybe um 
uh, cannot uh, maybe it's not not uh, come uh, not approach the Buddha and ask uh, to uh, listen to the Dhamma. So that's why yeah he went to those Prada and uh, avoid his um, yeah his uh, uh, his um, uh, his fame and then uh, uh, went to kingdom of the Bimbisara together and all the uh, all the Buddhist uh, all the peoples in in Magadha listened to the Dhamma properly. So this is why why the Buddha went to uh, uh, Saranath and then uh, he sent his first missionary, uh, uh, he sent uh, those uh, 60 disciples, uh, including the uh, five ascetic and uh, 55 uh, Yasa friends with, uh, with, with the Yasa uh, Kulaputra. And then yeah, he um, teach, uh, he, went, he himself went back to the Uruvila Sinanigma. So this is the, the main point. So uh, Bante, uh, up after, <clears throat> After the Buddha uh, have released, he promised to um, the king Bimbisara, and he also established his the first regulations about the um, we, we, we call Chaturanga Sena or or the first great assemblies of the Buddha. He read, uh, he he let down the the uh, constitution in Buddhism. So after that, this. 1,000 monks blast for 250 from Sariputta and Mughalana as the main force to propagate Buddhism. So Buddhism was so very powerful at that time. The king of Magadha, the king of Kaushala, and some other king believe and uh, become a Buddhist and support Buddhism. So this is all something that, uh, that, uh, that uh, I asked you before. There were very big challenges about the Brahmanism, Brahmanas, and, and, uh, and Jainism. Like at that time, there are many religions, right? Then many religious leaders also at that time, like um, Nigantana the Buddha, or Purnaka or Makli Kosala, or Sanjiya Vela the Buddha, the teachers of Sari Buddha and Mughalana. So those those uh, guru or those teacher uh, uh, lost their um their their gain lost their uh, fame so that that is very big chilling so i just want to ask you um one big question so now the time is also <laughs> up so uh, how how many years that buddhism still flourish still gain a powerful in india so so can can you tell us from the yeah, from the from from the very powerful when the Buddha's uh, 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 present until the Buddha's demise, and how long Buddhism can uh, can last us in the, uh, in India? It's uh, uh, over one thousand five hundred years venerable Buddhism flourished in India. Uh, 1,500 years since the Buddha time uh, till the gradual decline or com completely uh, extinction from India uh, since the Buddha time around 1,500 years uh, from um, 12th century C uh, plus. Uh, what is the main? What is the main reason? What is the main reason to make Buddhism decline from India? It's also a, a very good uh, topic, a good question, right? <laughs> yeah. The decline of Buddhism in India. It took a very uh, long time for Buddhism decline of India, but the main point how Buddhism uh, decline in India, uh, there are many uh, scholars also, they focus on uh, that point as their research yeah. mm -hmm. in, in, yeah. in Buddhism as a for us, uh, like the Theravada Buddhism, um, uh, sometimes we <coughs> rely on the dream of the King Vasenati um, Kausala. That's one dream, right, Venerable? Yeah. Uh, one point of the dream, yeah, of the, the king, he saw the uh, deer uh, come to uh, uh, drink the water at the pond, but that uh, or 
or well it is not um, make uh, polluted uh, near the food of the animal but inside yeah we, we believe that but uh, for for the, the the scholarly way how buddhism decline in india is take a very long time uh, for buddhism to disappear uh, completely in india around uh, uh, 12 uh, century uh, 1200 uh, 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 like that buddhism completely decline of india there are many main reasons uh, for buddhism to decline in india uh, the first thing for the sangha themselves mm -hmm. about the corrupt practice because uh, buddhism mostly uh, the defend the sub, uh, financial uh, support from the, the rulers of the, the country yeah they have uh, the sangha have the monks uh, at that time especially in the eastern and uh, northern india uh, monk, monks also had a very big land um, because of the, the land leased uh, by the king and uh, in india is is uh, after the buddha like the five six or seven century is not uh, so stable because sometimes the, the the invasion from foreign forces like the islam uh, from um, mongolia or from central asia yeah mm -hmm. they invaded india <coughs> they, that also the, the the one of the the, the factor that uh, caused the decline of buddhism in india and as i, I mentioned a, a moment ago the, especially the corrupt practice of the monk because at that time it, it's, there are many nikayas the school of buddhism appear uh, after the second or third uh, buddhist council uh, man, many nikaya buddhism appear at that time and it, it's not like the theravada we have uh, mahayana also and they practice uh, the way of their practice is not uh, so different from uh, Hinduism. They have uh, devotion, like the kind of uh, praying, the kind of magic. It, mm -hmm. That also that cause Buddhism decline in India. Uh, but uh, <clears throat> the most uh, important thing uh, for the decline of Buddhism in, in India is uh, by the, the, the external forces, especially the, the Muslim invasion. Yeah, there is uh, on the record or uh, on historical record uh, by uh, uh, one um, Muslim general who destroyed the, the, the large uh, Buddhist institution Nalanda or Otanta Puri or Vikramasila. It's, mm -hmm. it's very famous at that time, venerable yeah, for, for the Buddhist institution because there are many monks and nuns and so Buddhist students uh, joined the course of study there, but um, uh, finally they couldn't stand the invasion of the uh, Muslim invasion. Yeah, that's why it is the thing uh, to make Buddhism dis disappear from India, yeah, but by the, the, the Muslim invasion and also by Hindu. Yeah, the Hindu also is there. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it is very, very interesting that um, uh, Buddhism declined from India because of both, uh, both the internal and external uh, force, uh, power from outside and inside, as, as, as you mentioned, especially it's about the corrupted practice uh, among the Sangha community. Uh, as you mentioned about the after the first, uh, second Buddhist council, so there are many Nikaya or schools of Buddhism appeared and, and this is the way how they practice and uh, many Nikaya uh, practice differently. So uh, it is also the main point. I accept that. Um, and uh, external um, powers like the Muslim and Hindu invasion, uh, as I remember, I, I'm not sure about the, the, the century, but the, the in the in the ranks of the the Andhra and Sangha dynasty, there the king asked the minister uh, uh, how how uh, how uh, India was very famous and uh, how uh, they practice and how they follows and the king uh, 
uh, the minister mentioned about Ashoka. Ashoka kingdom was uh, very famous among among the king in Indian traditions, uh, Indian history. So they want to practice Buddhism. The king want to practice Buddhism, but the, um, all ministers are the Brahmin. They believe in Buddhism, so they just make a fake Buddhism to the king. So, so all um, Buddhist practice like uh, Hindu practice, like magical and Tantra, that's why Tantra's Buddhism is the place at that time. So uh, it is very, uh, it is also in Pala dynasty, the Pala dynasty that you say about the Otantapuri. Yeah, Otantapuri uh, is the place before the Pala king, yeah. but the Pala king also the, um, um, uh, support that uh, that school, that uh, uh, practice, and also you, you mentioned about the Nalanda and Vigramasila. It is uh, among the six to eight uh, century, uh, uh, yeah, century AD. So it is very important that the Muslim come to the invasion in, uh, as uh, we know, maybe it's, uh, we know and uh, 1197, it, it means in the 12th century to invade India and Bengal, uh, Bangladesh present day and destroys all the Buddhist uh, scripture and uh, infra infrastructure temples and kill the monks and Buddhists. So they fled from India to Tibet and to other, uh, other parts of the country like in South India, uh, example. So it is very meaningful that you, this, uh, you uh, mentioned about it. So um, I don't have much more time to ask you, but I, will, I, I still want to know about um, what Buddha or uh, as well as Buddhism left for uh, uh, legacy to Indian nation and the world. So as we can see uh, today. The Buddha left a very great impact on uh, Indian society, especially among the intellectual, among the intelligentsia about the, the, the system of governance. Yeah, the Buddha left a very great impact. Even today, not many Indian knew or know what is Buddhism. Yeah. Uh, when I came to India in uh, 2004, there's not many uh, Indian uh, familiar with uh, Buddhism. They yeah. thought to us, as a monk like the beggar, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know much. For, for the uh, ordinary people, they, they don't know what is Buddhism, what is monk like that. Even Buddhism originated in their country, but uh, among the, the, the system of governance, it's, it's very um, great impact left by the Buddha, like the, 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 the great father of India, Mahatma Gandhi also. Yeah. Uh, sorry, to the to the government. So I just heard. I I don't know. It is it is exactly because I did not read it. Um, I heard that in Indian Parliament there is the Buddha status and the Indian constitutions also uh, have related to Buddhism. So what do you think? Yeah, that, that exactly venerable. Yeah, you mentioned is is real, especially on the uh, Indian uh, constitution. Because yeah. uh, one one of the, the founder uh, of the uh, one of the writer of one of the writers of Indian Constitution is a Buddhist, a very famous um, man is uh, Doctor Ambedkar. Mm -hmm. He yeah. is a, a Buddhist, Bu Buddhist uh, converted converted Buddhist. Yeah, uh, many things in the Constitution mentioned like the equality, yeah, among the people among the rest among the people in India is one point and also is like the non-violent way and uh, about the, 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 the charity yeah they mentioned in, in the constitution Indian must have Indian it, it's, it's just a small point yeah but in, in uh, and one thing the Buddha statue yeah also right they install the Buddha statue in the parliament and uh, most important government building also they have very uh, colossal buddha image in but india they, um, um, I, I i met i have some friends uh, who were studying with me in the in sri lanka uh, last uh, uh, 
uh, over 10, uh, 15 years already. So they, when, when I said about India, so uh, when we all know, when, when we say India, we, we remember Mahatma Gandhi, right? But, yeah. but there is a friend, there was a friend of mine, uh, when they ball, I think Devananda, he is Indian, a monk. Wow. When I said about the Mahatma Gandhi, he rejected everything. So uh, I just want to ask you that why, why, why they select the Buddhist uh, writer as uh, uh, one of the uh, writers of constitution of India? So why Muslim and Hindu at that time also was very powerful after yeah. the uh, English in, in, uh, British invasion. So after getting uh, independence, so Hindus, from Mahatma Gandhi size and Muslim yeah. also was a very powerful. Why they don't select uh, Buddhi, uh, Hindus or Muslim? Why they, they, they select the Hinduism from Ambika? Maybe uh, because of uh, Dr. Mbaika educational background. He, maybe you know, you, you know about Mbaika, he, he graduated. Yeah. yeah. In, uh, doc, doctor in, in law. Yeah, from England and also economic from America. His background also is the one thing, but uh, it's only him alone is Buddhist. Yeah, and it's not him alone to write the constitution. As yeah. many are, are other person also, maybe they, their background is not Buddhist. <laughs> they, they can yeah. be him too. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, according to Indian uh, Indian constitutions that um. That, that mentioned uh, mostly related to the the, the Buddha's code uh, of morality, right? Yeah, yeah. So um, uh, in in this controversy, so uh, some some believe that uh, some history background uh, they they suppose that Hinduism and Muslim uh, also uh, want to migrate, want to integrate their uh, their religious teaching to uh, to to Indian constitution, as as we know, uh, Hinduism and Muslim they practice the very extreme, right? Yeah, very right. extreme, right. and they, uh, they 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 uh, they want many people uh, people um, practice follow uh, his. Uh, his religion only, their religions only, so don't practice other religions, so something like that. But uh, Buddhism, right, just the middle way, so nothing discrimination about the race, religions, or uh, some other thinking. So that's why uh, they select the Buddhism as the middle way that we talk about uh, Dhamma Jaka for Sutta. So according to, uh, according, to, uh, according to this thing, so Bante, uh, do you think um, that Buddhism will be flourished again in India anytime in the future? In my... <laughs> Perspective, I, I think it's impossible one day for what, Indian what society. Is the reason, what is the reason that it's impossible that um, Buddhism cannot uh, go back to India? It can, but it's, it's not anymore a, a popular or major religion in India again because the uh, Indian people mostly they follow Hinduism, almost uh, one billion. For, for the the current uh, for the re recent uh, census by uh, uh, register office of Indian uh, Hindu population almost one billion. Yeah. Why uh, practice uh, practicing Hinduism is the born practicing or converted? Yeah, right, right from there is almost uh, born practicing people for Hinduism and. They also, it's not easy to change their belief from this religion to other religion, mostly uh, Buddhist population in India. In, in, it's from the, the intouchable or the low caste people. Don't they, you think anybody in the future, the wise man or the, uh, in Cambodia, we, we always say Dhammika. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Namika or, or the wise men come to explain them to change the religions to believe uh, to practice Buddhism again. That happened only one time. <laughs> the Buddha <laughs> and uh, Doctor Amaka. Doctor Amaka is the, the, the like the, the, the Dhammika person. 
it's yeah. him who who introduced Buddhism to India. It's him and many other person also like Anna Karika Thamapala uh, mm-hmm. have uh, to bring back uh, Buddhism. But uh, the most famous person is the Dr. Ambeka among Indian Buddhist uh, population. They regarded him like a bodhisattva, like the second yeah. Buddha to them. Yeah, Dr. Ambeka, but in the near future, I, I, I don't see any <laughs> person <laughs> yeah. have, the, okay, uh, any um, have the ability like him, Dr. Ambeka. Okay, Monday. Um, yeah, uh, we, we, uh, if, if someone that uh, went to New Delhi or India, when um, we, we will see the status of uh, Dr. Ambeka yeah, in front of the parliament, so the very famous one. And the final question for today for you that um, you travel a lot uh, with uh, pilgrimage to uh, Buddha side and uh, the, to to respect and to um, yeah bring uh, the introduce the, our people to visit the Buddha's birthplace, Buddha uh, enlightened place, and the Buddha Parinibbana place, and some other places in India. So those places is exactly the Buddha's uh, the Buddha site that even the government accepted as the Buddha's uh, legacy. So um, when when we visited, as you live uh, there nearly twenty years, so uh, when 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 you arrive there, when you visit the Buddha's place. So what is the mind, uh, what, what uh, the Hindus and Muslims say about, about those, uh, those uh, Buddhist sites? Uh, for, for, for the Muslim, they don't intervene in our uh, Buddhist uh, holy places, holy site. But for Hindu, sometimes they, they claim that site is belong to them. Uh, uh, you, you may remember Venerable. The, the, the place where our Buddha um, uh, practice um, uh, austerity at yeah. the, the foothill of uh, uh, mountain uh, Tungkaswari. Yeah. Mm-hmm. See yeah. one side um, or some other places also when you come here, you, you, you may see, you may have seen. Um, one side is a Buddhist uh, Buddha image Buddha statue and one side they also just installed it newly very very new newly installed yeah um, Hindu idol or Hindu god image they just install it that means the kind of um, uh, encroach to our Buddhist holy site um, that is they, they also claim is um, belong to them because in their country, <laughs> not, yeah, our country okay. so, uh, not Buddhist country, that's why they have the right to do so. Or uh, even in the place uh, where the Buddha he ascended from the Tavatansa, uh, Sankasa. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, it's at, at uh, one uh, small hill. It's yes. also nowadays occupied by them. They install their god there, they put their, their, their uh, Hindu oh, god yeah, at the side. It's not any uh, Buddhist. Uh, no, any uh, Buddha image. Yeah. When we, we come there to pray, we just pray, uh, send our mind <laughs> to the Buddha, uh, yeah. dedicated our mind. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, There's many day. places available. E- e- even the, the, the Bodh Gaya Mahabodhi temple also. Yeah, they believe that uh, Hindu, some uh, built by the Hindu king. Uh, m- many Indians, uh, maybe time, our time is constrained, right? Yeah, it's okay. You need yeah. Um, yeah, many, many, many Indians they they believe uh, the Buddha yeah is also like their god. Yeah, that's yeah. why uh, people who ca- who come to uh, Buddha Mahaputi Temple is not only Buddhist, also yeah. Hindu. Yeah, people, Hindu believers they come to to pay their respect there. Venerable is is the kind of. Uh, um, sing in uh, Buddhist holy side. Okay, thank you very much, Bante, for your uh, this uh, for your time, the very valuable time, and uh, we discuss uh, almost one hour plus. So about the Buddhism in India, about the origins, about the time we 
uh, this uh, we talk um, about the time of the Prince Tata born in 623 uh, BC. It means before Christ, and also the Buddha was enlightened and introduced his first teaching to the five ascetics, and also uh, he went back to the uh, Benar uh, he went back to the Magadha kingdoms to release his promise to the king Bimbisara with the accompanies of the uh, three brothers <coughs> or the uh, ten, 1000 ascetics and also he convert the uh, Sariputta and Moggallana and he to 250 friends and also he introduced uh, his uh, teaching among Indias at that time about the 16 state and he went almost um, almost 14 states and uh, introduce his teaching uh, among um, uh, among men, and finally he um, demise and his uh, religions, uh, his teaching uh, flourish in India uh, as you say about one thousand five hundred years. So the Buddhism declined from India in eleven uh, eleven hundred ninety seven. So by the Muslim Mahamadans to uh, invade uh, India and Bangladesh at that time and destroys all the uh, Buddhist institutions, examples the Nalanda University, Vikramasila, and uh, amongst uh, all Buddhist Buddhist monks and Buddhist people uh, fled to uh, Tibet and uh, Orissa, Assam, and. Uh, um, uh, South Indian and Sri Lanka example. So Buddhism flourished that and also we discussed the Buddha and uh, Buddhism left many legacies to Indian nation and the world like the, his, um, yeah, his size of um, uh, birth uh, of and Parinibbana example and also his followers like the Dr. Ambeka uh, have um, uh, Introduce Buddhism, uh, Buddhism back to India, and Anagarika Dhammapala also introduced the Mahabodhi society. We don't forget the Maha Mahabodhi uh, society by Anagarika Dhammapala, who introduced the uh, who bring back the Buddhism and challenge to get the Buddha Gaya as the the Buddhist uh, Buddhist size, and we control until until now. And and uh, the last point that we discussed about the uh, bringing Buddhism back to India, many, many scholars and many Buddhist people, example, the Tribi Dika chanting every year led by uh, uh, Mrs. Wang Modi the, the president of the International Buddhist Allies, Inter Allies of International Buddhist um, Associations of America and the uh, president of Dhamma College in Berkeley University. Uh, Berkeley, uh, California, example, he, she bring, try to bring the Buddha Dharma to the Buddha's land again in order to promote the Buddha's teaching. But that, that you say is uh, um, um, impossible that um, uh, Buddhism will flourish again. But uh, until we have a wise man to introduce the Buddhism and also um, Buddhism uh, flourish among the wise. So unless Indian people, uh, did not good educated among the low caste and the low uh, uh, caste of the people. So they, they will not understand what is Buddhism, but among the wise, among the rich people, they believe in Buddhism and they come back to, to, his, uh, to their religion again because they, they educated, so they learn. So this is uh, the hope that we, we have and, and all the Buddhists around the world visited India and bring them to see uh, the Buddha, Buddhas and Buddhism is very valuable to the world until today. So Bante, thank you very much. And do you have any final tip for one minute to uh, our audiences? <laughs> yeah, finally, I must uh, thank to Venerable Dharma Siri, the moderator, for inviting me to participate in uh, this very nice program. And uh, you, please uh, apologize for me too. It's the uh, first time to uh, <laughs> discuss a talk in English. It's not so uh, uh, fluently or thoroughly. <laughs> I'm feeling a little nervous. <laughs> That's why I couldn't uh, speak um, like uh, smoothly. Yeah. Uh, but I must uh, thank you, Benvol Dharmasiri, 
yeah it's for for inviting me and also uh, if any point is not uh, uh, satisfied uh, please uh, the uh, audience and uh, all listener uh, please uh, pardon me so i will try to improve myself in the next uh, time program I, I will try yeah because <laughs> as i said it's first time for me to speak uh, in english here also i, I joined uh, for the conference but mostly people they, they, they read by directly by the paper yeah. not <laughs> that directly uh, talk like uh, this time <laughs> that's why a little nervous for me so i must uh, sing again for all yeah thank you so much whenever Thank you, Bante, very much. Uh, it is uh, usually for me also, I'm not supposed to do a moderator and also I'm not used to speak on the show like this. So uh, I go to school, but I don't speak much, just mm -hmm. only writing. So it is very uh, nervous, yeah, very nervous for both of us. And and because option, uh, we call absence of a moderator when we ball me put us of TV. So, uh, so we, we try our best. So I'm, uh, do apologize for, I do apologize for our, um, yeah, our problem of speaking and pronunciation and, um, maybe the point of uh, discussion. So I do apologize from our audiences and we will, uh, improve and we will, um, yeah, practice more about uh, how to take in, uh, on the show, how to talk on the show. And I will uh, invite you next uh, program also uh, when we uh, select the shootable topic to speak on the show. So thank you very much, Bantes, and uh, I uh, wish you all the best and uh, yeah, thank you so much. Uh, in India. <laughs> and also thank you very much for audiences uh, about uh, listening our program, especially the most vulnerable presidents of the Cambodian Buddhist Monk Society, Venerable uh, Venerable Atimuni, uh, the president, and also all Venerable Mahasanka and the people who uh, the audiences listening to our uh, show today. So they wish you all the best and good luck for um, this time. So I am Biko Damasari from Arizona, yes, and uh, Venerable Dr. Jandari from New Delhi, India. So I um, uh, have to say goodbye and and, and and wish all of you uh, the best of the day. Thank you very much.